Hello, hi, Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to have you here with the, the awards. What does it mean to you to be here tonight? Are you excited, nervous about presenting? Uh, so many. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> it's very nice to be with the young because the young are the future. And they're also the present, actually. The performances this year have been absolutely exquisite. So I'm thrilled to be with them. And, you know, if you look at awards like this, it's a bit of a barometer of the health of the British film industry, the independent film industry. This is a very exciting moment, wouldn't you say? The British film industry couldn't be in a more healthy state despite lack of support by the government. I mean, we need much more support. We need to make much more British films because we're so good at it. Um, you know, I work with crews from, you know, everywhere out in Pinewoods to independent films. They're all wonderful people. Their, their goodwill, their enthusiasm, their skill. But also we produced yet another generation of brilliant actors. So, and then we've also got women rising finally and appearing on equal terms with men in direction. So it's a very good moment. And that's good. My next point was going to be just seeing the diversity, in particular those are exciting female filmmakers, the likes of Scrapper, How to Have Sex, really tackling kind of like social realist issues but in a really creative way. Um, are the films like that very exciting to you? Yes, because I mean, you know, when you say Scrapper or How to Have Sex, I mean, these films are mind blowingly well done. And they are not self conscious in their point of view. They're witty in their point of view. And I think where you have wit and an element of self-deprecation, as well as very serious issues, you know, you're on to a renaissance of filmmaking because it'll be both international, tragic, comic, and uh, dramatic, and unselfconscious in the best sense, generous. And you've done so many amazing things in your career. Do you have favorite moments, roles, Killing Eve, maybe up there, I don't know. And what have you got coming up next? I've had a wonderful year of making um, three beautiful films. One is I.F. John Krasinski that will come out in the spring and the other is Park Avenue directed by Gabby Delal and more recently I've just made Hot Milk which is an adaptation of Deborah Levi's book directed by Rebecca Lankovic and I'm really really pleased that it's independent film that's, that really is really cool actually to be asked more cool I must be really cool everybody here it's, you know, under 30, and here I am. Give me a Give me a It's very good. And what, I mean, they're, they're all, actually, all the nominations they've yeah. done since. And they're very, very good. And I think it's, uh, I was thinking today, what drives all of them is probably magnificent performances, but also a technical ability now in, in uh, independent film that no longer has any rokiness around the edges. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not it's got the glamour of a Marvel film whilst also being you know, made on a shooting. It's, it's a thrilling combination.